hello friends nice having you all here today there are certain incidents that would happen and you'll be left with questions unanswered it's just so sad and devastating but at the same time very very shocking to a lot of people friends before we dive into today's discussion i want to say please for those of you that are just tuning in today for the first time or probably you've been watching but if not subscribed please take this time to hit on the subscribe button also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button some of us may know this particular face actually he is an x-factor singer his name is tom man and he's been left so heartbroken and devastated as i speak with you right now he appeared in the x factor singing show that was in 2014 though it's a long mm. time ago but the unfortunate and sad and shocking incident happened to this young man he's been with his girlfriend for some time they've been living together they even have an eight month old son this guy was meant to get married to this young beautiful lady that you can see there and that is their handsome son on the very day they were meant to get married in fact it's just the most unimaginable and unthinkable thing that happened to this particular young man and everybody got to know you know since he was a public figure and a lot of people got to know him during the x factor singing program he now had to decide that he would want to make this public for everybody mm. to know he, he just penned down a heartbreaking post on his instagram handle it's just so painful guys what i'm going to say now is the most shocking and heartbreaking news you can ever imagine he said this i can't believe i am writing these words but my darling danny my best friend my everything and more the love of my life passed away in the early hours of saturday morning 18th june 2022 on what was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives ended in irreversible heartbreak i feel like i have cried an ocean we never made it to the altar mm. or got to say our vows or dance our first dance but i know you know that you were my entire world and the best thing that has ever happened to me daniela i will wear the string that i was always supposed to wear as a sign of my unconditional love to you i am completely broken trying to process this and honestly don't know where to go from here but i do know i need to use any strength i can muster for our little boy i will not be a mark on the parent that you had already become but i promise i will do my everything to raise bowie just the way we always wanted i promise you he will know how amazing his mommy was i promise to make you so so proud the most beautiful person inside and out the most incredible soul we have lost such a special mm. person and i am sure we are about to see an abundant outpouring of love that reflects that i will try to find peace in your messages and comments but right now i am grieving and i'll be for a very very long time my darling danny the brightest light in any room my world is nothing but darkness without you i will miss you forever friends i just had to read this out to really bring it out there how sad and heartbroken this young man tom is feeling right now as i speak with you guys they were meant to say i do on saturday saturday morning and that same saturday morning after all the preparations for the wedding her wedding gown is set his suit everything is just in place all for them to just walk down to the aisle and exchange their marital vows and say i do to each other guys what happened as they woke up in the morning before you know what was happening before it was time for them to go to church 
this young beautiful lady just passed away on her wedding day in the morning isn't this very very difficult to even believe that someone would pass away on their wedding day it might happen but it's very shocking it's not the news that you would hear and you'd be like oh rest in peace it's even difficult for you to accept that you are losing someone very dear to you imagine how devastated this young man is and they have a son eight months old son together however he didn't disclose what killed her or what led to her death it's still a shock to her family members to friends and to loved ones on her wedding day in the morning for her to go down to the aisle and say i do before they could go into the church this woman just passed away i'm sure definitely they are going to carry out autopsy to find out what killed her because sudden deaths like this these are things that people will raise eyebrow at or these are kind of deaths that people will just be so shocked and speechless and you'll be like what really happened what went wrong this world is just turning out to be something else every now and then we get to hear very horrible sad and devastating stories how can a human being who has been preparing for years who knows how long they've been preparing for this wedding on a special day death just came and swept this young beautiful woman away from her husband and her son it's so sad these are the kind of death that the person we keep relieving over and over again you can even hear from his statement he said he's going to be grieving and that will be a, for a very very long time that's to tell you how attached and close he was with his fiance. it's just so heartbreaking when you hear how people pass away either a day to their wedding or a day after their wedding or a few days after their wedding when you think of the people that are in question either is it the man or the woman you'll be wondering how will they cope with that kind of a loss just imagine that you've been with someone you've been dating the person and you're all like excited this is what everybody wants from relationships that at the end of the day they end up together and then when you know so many people are out there some don't end up together some end up marrying different people but once you have stayed with yourselves and eventually it works out fine to end up walking down the aisle it would be like the most happiest thing you've ever dreamed of because you're marrying your friend that was how these two people were because they're living together for a long time people had a child so the union and the closeness and the bond was already there and so now for her to live his life it would be difficult for this young man to keep on moving on strong but he just has to be strong for his child so when you think of things like this on your day you're supposed to be excited it turned out to be a day of mourning so rather than this young man and his son and their family members and friends celebrating everything turned out to be a day of mourning for them that's why they say death knows no man it knows no boundary irrespective of who the person is death will come mm -hmm. knocking on the door but the problem is loved ones all around will be taken on away and will be heartbroken and left in pains for this young man before he will get over this it's going to take serious time because someone he's gotten used to they already have a child the bond is already very strong and for him to just mourn her for one month one year it would be a very difficult thing these are things that you see and you'll be like god what happened or why family members and friends will be asking why why did they have to take this young woman away from her husband mm. and on their wedding day in the morning you know like this woman was sick didn't he specify that she was sick or she was going through anything just in the morning for them to walk down the aisle that was when this woman died what kind of a news or gift is this would i call this a gift or a a baggage of pain on your wedding day someone you saw hours before and then the next minute you see the person is lifeless this life is really really unpredictable we'll just keep praying and asking for god's protection upon our lives it is not an easy thing at all imagine this young little boy will now grow up 
without his mother by his side. However, friends, if there are updates regarding the cause of death, mm. I'll definitely keep you all updated. It's so devastating. There's certain news that you would hear. You don't even need to know the person or the individual that are affected for you to feel bad or feel sorry. When you hear certain things like this, you just feel so sad and even devastated at the same time because you'll be asking questions. How and why on her special day in the morning? It's not something that is easy for the person to handle, especially her fiancé and those that were around her that are close to her. It's just so sad. We pray that the soul of Danny rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console her husband and her son and the entire family members, loved ones whom she has left behind. May God console them all. It's not an easy moment for her family members and her friends. They are still in great shock to come to terms with the fact that this lady they just saw, they just mm. greeted not quite long and you're hearing that she's dead. It's so painful. May God console her husband to be. He will be the most broken person because the little boy may not really understand what has happened. But the father who is there, it only takes the grace of God for him to recover the pain that he is going through. It's so devastating. Anyways, we pray that God will console the husband to be and the son and her entire family because it's not easy for them to really believe that Danny is no longer alive. Friends, like I said, we should all keep being very prayerful. This life, they said, mm -hmm. it's just a life of a face we're passing through. And however things happen or when they're bound to happen, we don't know because we are just humans. Only God knows our beginning to our end. And so we keep praying to God that he would help us each and every day we see ourselves alive friends it's been nice talking with you today please before you leave don't forget to hit on the subscribe button also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you god bless you all